Hello, I'm Rob in collaboration with Mile High United Way. In this series, I will show you how to use a computer from the most basic skills to those necessary to start incorporating computer use in your daily life. These videos will also empower you to help your children with their online homework. Sometimes life demands that we transform ourselves and learn a new skill. Technology and computer use can be overwhelming or scary, but these videos are designed for those with little or no experience with computers. Welcome to Using a Computer with Ease. We won't be demonstrating all uses of a computer, only the basics so you can understand the layout of a computer and feel more comfortable using it. In this video, you will learn how to use a mouse to move a cursor and control your computer. You should think of the mouse as your point of contact for the computer in order to control it. It's much like a leash for a dog, reins for a horse, a steering wheel for a car, or a remote control. A computer screen displays a ton of information. Using the mouse tells your computer exactly how you want to interact. To move the mouse, the first thing you have to do is orient it correctly. If your mouse has a cord, point the cord directly in front of you. If your mouse doesn't have a cord, the two buttons should be facing in the direction you're seated. Hold the mouse lightly without squeezing too hard. Relax your hand. You should be holding both sides of the mouse with two fingers on top of the buttons. The heel of your hand should be resting on the table. Turning the mouse when you move it will cause chaos like an untrained puppy. Instead, think of a grid when you move the mouse. To the right, to move the cursor to the right. To the left, to move left. Up is up, and down is down. Follow the pattern you see with your mouse. Now we will learn how to click. In order to click a button, do so lightly. The computer doesn't understand the difference between a light click and a heavy click. And a heavy click may cause your cursor to move or fail to click what you want. So click lightly and briefly. You will notice a typical mouse has two buttons. The left one is for selecting, while the right one is for options. Using a right click opens a menu connected to the object you clicked. The menu that opens shows a list of various actions that you can take given the circumstances. For now, you only need to become familiar with these two different types of clicks. Sometimes an icon or link on the computer screen contains two levels and requires two types of clicks. Icons on the desktop, for example, highlight with a single click and open with a double click. While you are getting acquainted with the computer, try using a single click. And if nothing happens, try again with a double click. Later, when you're ready to work in applications, you will use the scroll function. A typical mouse has a wheel in between the two buttons, which you can use to move a page 
down or up. Like a real desktop, the visual space of your computer can become cluttered. You can use the mouse to drag any element of the screen, including icons, documents, or pages, to organize your personal space. All you have to do is click without letting go of the left button. This will grab whichever element you want to move. Then it's as simple as moving the mouse and releasing the button when you want to let go. This same function of click and drag while holding the button can be used to highlight words of a document. Just don't forget to let go of the button when you're done highlighting. Let's review. Hold the mouse lightly with the heel of your hand resting on the table. Remember to click lightly and quickly. The left button helps you select while the right button opens an options menu on whatever you clicked. Scroll up and down with the wheel. Click and drag icons or pages by holding the left button. 